we can actually understand the New Testament figures better when we look at their Old Testament precursors or foreshadowers. This is what we call typology. When you look at the genealogy in Matthew chapter 1, you see that Jacob is the father of the New Testament, Joseph. Guess who was the father of the Old Testament, Joseph? Jacob. The Old Testament, Joseph was a dreamer, he was sold into Egypt, was a chaste man because he did not yield to the seduction of Pontifar's wife. And then through him, salvation came to the people. All of this connects to the life of the New Testament, Joseph, who was also a dreamer. First, in his flight into Egypt, known for his chastity and respect for the dignity of women. And through him, our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, came into the world. The Gospels give very little information about St. Joseph. This is because he was one of those silent achievers, people who get things done without making noise about it or seeking recognition. He silently, faithfully and devoutly went about doing his duties to God and his family. St. Joseph is remembered as a man of great virtue and character who embodied many of the values and principles that are central to the Christian faith. So I say happy feast day to us all.